Okay, so we're looking at your synth part here, and we're going to play the first four measures. We've already quantized it to the eighth note to get a feel for it, and here it goes. Great. Uh, you'll notice that the note lengths vary, even within one chord to the next. Now, you don't have to make them all the same. Uh, however, I would suggest that you start with them all the same and then make a decision about uh, whether you like that or not. Um, the only reason, oops, sorry. The only reason to do that is in this style of music, uh, being very, very precise is um, is really where the money is. Anybody could sort of get sloppy and messy. It's not that this is very sloppy because of the way the instrument is, it doesn't sound that way. But you're going to hear this is going to be very, very precise. So what I'm going to do is select note lengths that I'd like to be similar, and you could select a whole bunch of them, but let's just do a few at a time right here, and go to Functions, Transform, let's hope this works now, Fixed Note Length. So uh, this first uh, represents how many measures you want something to be. So if I were then say Operate, it makes it that long, and of course there's always uh, Undo. And this makes it uh, how many beats I would like it to be. So I don't, I, if I just want one beat, I want them all to be one beat long, they're all one beat long, Z. Uh, and this next third tick over here, or the third space, is actually how many sixteenth notes. This represents something called ticks, a very, very small increment of a beat. Um, so this is rep represents sixteenth notes. So I'm using two sixteenth notes, which is eighth notes. And because I've selected these here, I'm going to hit operate only. And it just does it to the ones that I've done operate only to. So the difference really is, um, if I hit Apple Z, I want you to just listen for this. Uh, I'm going to uh, mute the bass drum for now, just so we can hear the synth part right here that I've done. So I want you to listen very carefully. There's a lot of sustain uh, in this instrument, so it may not be very clear, but listen to this. Just that. Now I'm going to operate and now change the note length and take a listen. Now you can see that. I think that it's too short. So I'm going to change it to this and say operate only. Now let's take a listen to this. That's a little closer to what you wanted. Um, now I'm going to undo it again all the way back to the beginning. And now listen to the quality of what each sounds like. I'm even going to slow it down a little and listen up. And now I'm going to operate hit the operate only button. Now I've got all of them are uniform. It is very, very subtle, but the subtle little detail difference is what makes the million dollar producer, not the free or hundred dollar producer.